Hi guys, how are you doing today? Um, it's been a while since I dropped a video because I've been working on a particular project and it's really been time consuming, but it has taught me a lot of things and I just thought to share with you. So if you're looking for a dream job, if your dream job is in the creative industry or you're looking to land uh, that mega contract in the creative industry, here are three things that you need to be doing right now. Are you guys ready? All right, so before we get into that, if you've never seen any of my videos before, I am the Igbo writer and I usually say stuff that is, you know, contrary to popular opinion. Um, so, you know, the situation of things in the country currently, you know that uh, it's not sure that if you graduate with good grades, you're going to get a job somewhere. And that has pushed a lot of young people into, um, you know, self-employment and trying to run businesses on their own. And that's mostly in the creative industry. So basically I'm talking about if you're a makeup artist, you're a photographer, you're a videographer, um, you are a content creator, a copywriter, anything that you do that is within the creative industry, here are three things that you can do and you can start doing right now to make sure you land that dream job or that dream contract to work on that project. Number one, I know I say this often, but I don't think I say often enough, develop your skill level. It may seem to be basic, but I tell you, you can do more than you are doing currently to prepare yourself to be in a position where you're the best candidate for the job, all right? Work on yourself constantly. Stop comparing yourself with competition on a local level. Try to up your game by looking at people's work who are not from your circle. That's how you're going to improve a lot and be a lot better than everybody else in that particular sector in your area. That's how you get that job. And that brings me to point number two. Avoid competing with people in your circle, all right? People who are in the same industry as you are, who do the same thing that you do. Avoid competing with them, rather connect. That mindset of competition tends to make you, uh, you know, separate yourself from them. When you meet yourselves as an, at an event or at, you know, a class that was organized by somebody, you tend to separate yourself because you think this is your competition. This photographer is my competitor. Rather connect with them because let me blow your mind. Your competition is not them. Your competition is the crazy world out there. Both of you are competing against hunger. Do you understand? So if you connect with these guys, these are the guys that are going to get gigs in the future, especially if they are really good. Take me, for instance. There are lots of times I've gotten jobs, really good jobs, and I've turned them down simply because either I was too busy or I just wasn't in the mood to take that particular job at that particular point in time. So in my mind, I'm saying, who else do I have on my contact list that I can push this job to? Believe it or not, the people you think are your competition are actually the people who are going to connect you to that dream job or to that dream project that you're looking to work on. And this brings me to point number three. That is, work for yourself for free. That thing that you are looking for people to hire you to do, that contract that you want to work on, that project you want to work on and you're looking for somebody to, you believe you can do it, right? Because you know, you've worked on your skill level to a certain degree and then you believe you can actually pull it off when that dream project or that dream job comes up they are usually going to ask you let us see what you can do that thing you want people to hire you to do pull it off on your own for free right even if you have to pay other people to come around so that you can do like a photo shoot where nobody pay you for or you can do like uh, a makeup session really creative makeup designs let people see what you can do by you know looking at what you've already done don't wait for somebody to pay you to get that stuff done before you actually go out there and get it done if you're doing these three things you're developing your skill level if you are constantly connecting with people in your community and you are you know working for yourself for free you are certainly going to be in the right position to land that job if you enjoyed this video or you learned anything from it please be sure to give it a like share it if you're not subscribed to my channel yet i, I don't understand it all right subscribe so we can all learn and grow together continually and until the next time it's still me the Igbo writer love you guys rather rather connect mm. And that brings me to the point. And that brings me to point number two.